I was in Cyprus to understand how in the 21st century a Mediterranean country could be split between two first world nations, Cyprus and Turkey. In 1974, Greece and Greek Cypriots led a coup d'etat in Cyprus. To protect Turkish Cypriots, Turkey invaded. The United Nations intervened and split the Turkish North and the Greek South. Greek Cypriots overthrew the president and that was used as an excuse by Turkey to invade Cyprus to protect the, the Turkish Cypriots. Many Cypriots wanted enosis, unity with Greece, and many Turkish Cypriots wanted Taksim, a border separating the north from the south. The UN stepped in and built the Green Zone, a wall separating the warring factions that splits the entire country. The buffer zone, which cuts through the center of the city, created sort of this no man's land with hundreds of buildings, and some of the most important buildings, stuck like ants in amber in this sort of like dead zone, which is only patrolled by the UN blue helmet guys. You see the demolished houses, you see the abandoned houses, you see the houses that have become military spaces, and you feel that something violent has taken place. Nicosia, the capital of the Republic of Cyprus, is a divided city. Nicosia is a perfect example of a stalemate. No one knows how to get out of the stalemate. It's still a violent border. We're not supposed to be filming here, but we're just going to take a couple quick shots and get out of here. It's highly militarized. There's barbed wire everywhere. There's machine gun turrets. There's a lot of UN flags. It's pretty sketchy. So if you look closely enough, you can always find remnants of the war in through the 60s and the 70s, which serve as psychological weapons of mass destruction for the Greeks and the Turks. They just are constant reminders of the grim reality of the war that was and the war that continues. So check it out. We're currently in southern Nicosia. Tomorrow we're going to be going to northern Nicosia to try to survey individuals' opinions about why this country should be unified and can be unified despite the Turkish affiliation in the north, the Greek affiliation in the south, the religious differences between the Muslim north and the predominantly Orthodox Catholic south. I first met with Greek Cypriots from the south. They divided us by force. The Turkish occupation here is illegal. The territory of the north of Cyprus will want to be our. Ah, we, I wish this could stop. And not in the hands of the Turkish invaders. Yeah, the unification is not possible. This island was, is, and will be Greek forever. Do we want to split Cyprus or do we but want to Cyprus? Not just to us to decide. I, I know it is. There's so many people I think it's that are closed minded about this. And it's unless... our decision to change their minds. Are you serious? Yeah. You're going to convince your grandmother that they did not steal her house? Finally, I spoke with young Turkish Cypriots from the north. So we're about to enter into the TRNC, North Cyprus. It seems like you're traveling into another foreign country and you had to stamp a piece of paper uh, with, a, with a visa stamp instead of our passports. Young people have never really had the kind of personal contact, um, friendships, with Greek Cypriots. Do you have friends in the north and in the south? Yes, I do. Do a lot of people have friends in the north and the south like you do? No. I was so shocked to meet a Greek Cypriot for the first time in my life when I was 27 years old. I think people's views are, are changing for the worse. And rapidly. So they thought that behind the borders there are some monsters, some creatures with one eye or red eye. So they they were surprised to see that they are just human beings like us because when you talk about enemy, an enemy cannot be a human. In 2004 a UN plan for a united Cyprus Republic was rejected by 75 percent of Greek Cypriots. 
after the referendum, I realized that we were not ready for any kind of solution. Right now, there's no way a solution can come up where everyone will get what they want. We've gone off in a very negative direction, and we need to kind of pull ourselves back from that. You can build a wall higher and higher, but eventually your enemy is going to find a way to get over it. That's just an arms race, basically. The same thing is true in divided cities. Security benefits are only temporary at best. The real impact is blight, um, unemployment, lowering property values, um, depression, alcoholism, um, anxiety, all of these things that come from living in an embattled environment where you're nervous, where you've been told um, that, that someone's trying to attack you, um, that, you're, that you're in danger. You know, it's a really bad psychological climate and it's usually a bad social and economic climate too. And you just have to walk for 10 minutes through the walled city of Nicosia and anyone can tell that this is a, a really depressed city, both economically and sort of um, psychologically. I don't want my country to stay like this forever, you know what I mean? You know, should think about a way that, you know, these societies can merge in the future. We really want to be united because we're really one people, one, um, uh, we're Cypriot. We have a future together. We want to be unified. We are trying to make it seem that it's a, whole, it's a unified place and we can see the unification that it, it would be very nice. I'm a Turkish speaking Cypriot. Uh, technically I'm living in the north uh, but the last three years uh, I have a two house. Uh. It was in, uh, in a meeting that we met three years ago and uh, since then we, we are together. Right. Unfortunately, we are together. <laughs> People can live together and we, can, we have shown that in so many ways. People used to live together. I think it's, it's a political thing. It's not the people. What does it mean to forgive or forget? Or can we forgive and forget? We should not forget. What yeah, but how can you go into the future if you don't... You should forgive. We as Cypriots have to not be afraid to uh, be together. Yes, you know, admire what your ancestors did. Yes, support them, but also support a future that you can have and your kids can have. I'm certain that in 10 or 15 years, this island will be united. Today, the Cypriot pound is one of the strongest currencies in the world. But the Turkish Republic of North Cyprus is not yet recognized by any nation, except Turkey.